the Nintendo Switch Pro, bro. everybody how are y'all doing before we get started with this video you already know give it a thumbs up broski like 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 not just broski there's females that watch the videos too what's up everybody tuning in we have a couple of dope news items for this video but the first one could the Nint could nintendo be producing the Nintendo Switch Pro as we speak, and now we won't even know. This is coming from um, a website, MarketScreener.com. They're talking about the NVIDIA Tegra, um, Tegra X, X1 uh, and their shipments. A uh, shout out to Super Metal Dave 64. I saw his tweet on this. And He's saying that effective now, start of 2021, NVIDIA is removing all Tegra SOC processors from being separated, separate reported revenue. What does that mean? There is no way for us to track new Switch hardware if Nintendo is still using um, NVIDIA to do their chips. And because uh, I think that's how a lot of dudes got tipped on the Switch Lite, uh, the, the revised Switch model, um, was because a new system on the chip was being reported and tracked. And so, so now, um, um, starting now, there's no way to track um, uh, the Tegra processors as separate reported revenue. So Nintendo could be hiding hiding from us and from the press <coughs> uh, when they're going to begin uh, production on new processors for a switch pro now will nintendo be releasing a switch pro almost a hundred percent guarantee nintendo will be coming out with a more powerful system all of this talk of the Xbox Series X, hype for the Xbox Series X, and the PlayStation um, 5. A lot of talk about these next-gen hardwares, and Nintendo could be quietly working on their hardware. Not could be, they are working on their hardware behind the scenes. It's a matter of when it's going to drop. All of my bets are on 2021. Nintendo... They don't want to, and, and and I'm almost to like, it doesn't even matter that Sony and Xbox is launching hardware this year. If Nintendo wanted to, holiday 2020, they could surprise release a more powerful Nintendo Switch, and it would sell the Xbox Series X and the PlayStation 5. It's just Nintendo having all their games on one system, it's a moneymaker, man. Animal Crossing, 13 million units sold already. And so, Nintendo could be... Uh, it's not a matter of fact of if they're working on a Switch Pro. It's when now the hardware will be released. And just the fact, um, it just started today where we can no longer track um, shipments. <coughs> um, the um, Tegra system on the chip processors, we can no longer track that publicly. Uh, meaning that Nintendo could be working on new hardware, or, or not working on it. They could be uh, start the shipping, um, the purchase, the big. But the biggest thing is the, um, a good indicator of new hardware being released is when unusual purchases are being made by for chips and such, um, such like behind the scenes. That's when a uh, red flag goes up. Why is Nintendo all of a sudden? Purchasing 
bulk quantities of this new Tegra system on the chip. And that's a perfect sign for everyone. Oh, new hardware is coming. That's how everyone knew PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X because um, bulks of AMD's um, new um, Zen 2 was being uh, was being purchased and so Nintendo the switch pro the saga continues bro Nintendo has been shadow dropping um, the origami King they stopped the Nintendo directs they stopped doing Nintendo directs meaning <coughs> everything we hear from Nintendo going forward in 2020 and even beyond could be all just surprise announcements I tell y'all all the time, when Nintendo launched the 3DS XL, the new 3DS XL, there was no um, Nintendo Direct, there was no, um, all Nintendo did, they just dropped a surprise trailer. I'm getting the trailer up right now, live. They, all they did was drop, booyah, we had a surprise trailer. Introducing the new 3DS XL, a more powerful 3DS. From nowhere, Nintendo just dropped it. They could be, they could be doing the same with the Switch. Time is going to tell. But the next news item for this video, we got some Bayonetta 3 news. And it's simply, <laughs> the game has not been canceled. <laughs> I'm for real. That's all um, Platinum Games has said. They came out on Twitter to reassure fans that the game has not been canceled. That they are still hard at work on Bayonetta 3. Why would they do this? Because Nintendo came out and told us Metroid Prime 4 had been canned and um, um, shipped to another studio. I mean, it's still being worked on. But Nintendo came out and said uh, Metroid Prime 4 um was canceled not canceled but scratched and starting over development and so now some fans could be hey we haven't heard anything from the game in a while uh, we haven't heard, had any gameplay all we had was this one cgi um um trailer a couple of game awards ago and so we could speculate what's going on with the game but rest assured and this is it um um his direct quote speaking in an interview with vgc uh Kamea, um, um, came out and talked about um, Bayonetta 3. This is his direct quote. I'm on Twitter, so I see a lot of comments every day, Kamea said. I'm happy that there's still anticipation for the title. But one thing I would like to address is the trend I'm seeing, which is people are starting to ask if the game has been canceled. I want you guys to take any concerns you have like that and throw them out the window immediately because we're still hard at work on it and it hasn't been canceled by any means any means please look forward to it and so he's saying the game has not been canceled and good things come to those who wait i learned my lesson with final fantasy 7 this game is pretty epic bro i'm really 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 liking it especially if you were a fan of the original game you're gonna fall in love with this remake this is how you do a remake ladies and gentlemen <laughs> the game is just a beautiful game and the game has been delayed so many times but i every time every new chapter i'm like okay i see why this game was delayed so much detail even like when Aerith, Aerith, she was on there's a um, part in the game where you have the lifter on the giant mechanical hands and bro when you shift the hand to the right her hair physics like shift to the right you shift it up her braids go up like the amount of detail in this game is is pretty dope and so i could appreciate it but i was raging i was one of the dudes raging when metro prime 4 was canned and i and um i'm transferred over to retro studios like man come on Nintendo, what are y'all doing but they're taking this along with this game i'm a believer that epic um a Metroid Prime 4 is going to be an epic game. This is my most anticipated Nintendo Suicide. I'm I'm really looking forward to Zelda Breath of the Wild 2. But Metroid Prime 4 even more anticipated than Breath of the Wild 2. Alright dudes, what do you guys think about this video? 
Um, sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, click the subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things gaming, bro. We out, boy. You still watching this video? That means you like me. You really like me. I got to hook you up. That's right. I'm giving away a $60 digital code every month for your platform of choice. Xbox, Nintendo, or PlayStation. Two ways to enter. One, make sure you're subscribed to this fire right here on YouTube. Two, follow me on Twitter at Obi-Wan Plays. And that's it. You're in for the giveaway. But wait, there's more. Do you want to join an awesome gaming discord with prizes and tournaments? Do you want to get on my friend list and game with your boy? Become a sponsor. Three ways to join. One, subscribe on Twitch. If you have Twitch Prime, you can do it for free. Two, click the join button right here on YouTube and become a member. And the third way to join, patreon.com backslash ob one plays. You'll thank me later. Also, check out the swag, bro. Links are in the description. I'll see you later. Deuces. Thank you.